DDR1, or DDR-SD RAM, launched in 2000. It ran at about 2.5 to 2.6 volts, with 184 pins on desktop dims and 200 pins on laptop SO dims. You could spot it by the single notch centered on the stick. Speeds ranged from 200 to 400 megahertz effective, giving up to 3.2 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. It first showed up in PCs with Intel Pentium 4 and AMD Athlon processors. DDR1 modules usually maxed out at one gigabyte each, using a 2N prefetch buffer. It was a huge leap over SRAM, but power hungry and limited by today's standards. DDR2 arrived in 2003 and focused on higher throughput with better efficiency, dropping voltage down to 1.8 volts. Pin count went up to 240 for desktops and 200 for laptops, but the notch moved slightly off center. Speeds doubled from 400 to 1066 megahertz, and bandwidth peaked around 8.5 gigabytes per second. DDR2 used a 4N prefetch buffer and on-die termination to clean up signals, supporting capacities up to 4 GB per module. It powered mid-2000 systems like Intel Core 2 Duo and early AMD Phenom builds. More efficient than DDR1, but sometimes higher latency held it back, and it's fully obsolete now. DDR3 arrived in 2007 with a standard voltage of 1.5 and 1.35 volts for low power versions. Pin count stayed at 240, but the notch shifted again. Speeds ranged from 800 to 2133 MHz, pushing bandwidth past 17 gigabytes per second. It introduced an 8N prefetch buffer, flyby topology for cleaner signal routing, and supported up to 16 gigabytes per stick. First seen in Intel's early Core i-series and AMD's FX chips, DDR3 offered about 30% better power efficiency than DDR2, though now it feels slow by modern standards. Then came DDR4 in 2014, running at just 1.2 volts. Pin count jumped to 288, and you could identify it by its slightly shifted notch compared to DDR3. Speed started at 1600 MHz and officially went up to 3200 MHz, with enthusiasts overclocking far higher. Bandwidth exceeded 25 GB per second. DDR4 brought bank groups for parallel processing, CRC error checking, and massive capacities, even up to 128 GB per module. It first launched with Intel Skylake processors and later became the standard for Ryzen systems. It was faster, more efficient, and remained dominant for years. Finally, DDR5, which hit consumers in 2021. It runs at just 1.1 volts, still with 288 pins, but the notch has shifted again to prevent mixing it with DDR4. Base speeds start at 4800 MHz and scale beyond 9600 MHz, with bandwidth per module starting above 38 GB per second and climbing higher. DDR5 introduced 16N prefetch, dual subchannels inside each module for more parallelism, on die ECC for reliability, and power management ICs built directly onto the stick. Capacities are massive, with server modules reaching 512 gigabytes. First adopted by Intel Alder Lake and AMD Ryzen 7000, DDR5 is built for next-gen gaming, AI workloads, and 4K or 8K content creation though it's pricier and can run hotter at extreme speeds. That's the complete arc from DDR1 to DDR5. Lower voltage, smarter signaling, bigger capacities, and massive bandwidth gains every step of the way. Tap like, hit subscribe, and tell me in the comments which DDR generation your first build used, and what you're running now. I'll catch you in the next one.